Hi everyone, welcome to the Blackboard tutorial. My name is Amy Peach and I will be coordinating and facilitating this tutorial. And I wanted to give you a real quick video rundown since some of you have never really accessed Blackboard before. Some of you have used it for some of your face-to-face -face classes and so there will be some new things that you'll learn in here. But for those of you who are brand new to it, you're really not even sure where to go, this is where we're gonna start off. So as you can see with our uh, description here, there are some buttons that apply specifically to this tutorial, but there are others that apply to online classes in general. The ones that you need to worry about for this class are obviously the Start Here button, which is where we are right now, the Information button, which is going to have all the requirements for the tutorial. It's going to include the syllabus, things like that, and you're going to find that in general in your classes uh, too. It'll say something like Information or Course Information. The Staff button is going to have information about me, office hours, that sort of thing, so if there's any contact information that you need, you can find it there. The Content button is where you're going to spend most of your time. There are three content modules. Everything that you need to complete this tutorial is going to be in the Content button. So very, very important. You're going to be spending most of your time here. Your other two buttons that you're going to use are actually a little bit further down. Under Student Resources, you're going to see Email. And if you click on that and click to Instructors, you can go ahead and send an email directly to any facilitators and instructors of the tutorial at any time, or else you can use my direct email address in your own email account. So it, it's entirely up to you. Uh, the second section here is My Grades, and that's where you're going to find your progress. So it's very important that you check that as you're moving through the tutorial because you'll be able to see what you have completed and what you still have to work on. So that's going to be an important button as well. Right now we're just going to spend some time looking at the modules so that you know what to expect. So when I click on Content, I'm going to see that there are three modules here. One is going to cover basic Blackboard tools. The second is going to cover the Sisters of St. Joseph, and the third one is going to cover Fontaine University history. Now realize that these two are related to orienting yourself to the university in general, but there are going to be activities that inadvertently help you to learn how to use Blackboard. So the different things that we do in here are going to simulate some of the projects that you may find in your classes. So we're kind of killing two birds with those two modules here. Once you click on, and you always want to start with your, your first module, click on the first one, and you will see at the beginning of every module that there's going to be a description of what we're going to be doing, the objectives for the module, and then the different things that you have to do. And you're going to see that these are color coordinated. Anything that's in blue are various videos that you're going to need to, to view, and that's why it also says view here. Um, anything that is in green and says review is just some text information that you're going to want to read through. And then uh, anything that's in red that says complete, that's going to be an item that's actually graded for the tutorial. You really won't be able to complete any of these things without viewing these other things though. So just make sure that you're doing everything in order. And there is an important note here, it says please note that these items appear in order. As each one is complete, the next one will appear. So if I'm looking at my to-do list and I say, oh, okay, you know, I'm kind of curious about checking my grades, I want to go check that first. Well, you're going to find that as you scroll down through what you think is going to be your content, it's not there. All you can see is the browser information and downloads, which you can see for Module 1 is the very first item. Here's what you need to do in order to access it. I can read through my first item here, gives me some information on browsers. Very important that I have more than one browser on my computer and that I have certain things set up so that I'm, it's going to make my life so much easier. So it's very, very important. That's why we put it first and foremost that you want to make sure that you know what browser information and downloads you need. After I've read through this, and if I don't have more than one, I've downloaded another one. After I've completed that, then I can see right down here at the bottom of the item, there's a little section here that says Mark Reviewed. Once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and click it. Now you can see there's a little item here that says, where's the rest of it? And it just reminds you that once you see this reviewed, then you can check it. So I'm going to click Mark Reviewed here because I know I've done that. It takes me back to the beginning of the module and I'm going to scroll down and look, now I can actually see the second item, Learning Online, New Skills for a New Way. And I can see that that, according to my list, is the third item that I should see there. So once I have actually reviewed that, then the next items will go ahead and appear for me. So that's very, very important to know that you always need to click Mark Reviewed. Once you've done something, click that and then your next module will appear, okay? And so we can do that here as well and I'll show you how that works again. And click on there and scroll down 
And then you can see my next information on, there's a quick tutorial here on taking a quiz, and then there's my readiness assessment that also appears just below that. So again, same sort of thing. The only time that you will not see the mark reviewed is for a thing like this. If there is a quiz or a test, once I take that, then the next item is going to appear. So those are going to be your two ways to kind of progress through the tutorial. So just keep an eye out for those. Um, the only other thing that I would mention, I did mention it earlier, but make sure that you go ahead and click on my grades periodically. So as I run through here, you can see that I haven't done anything in here so far. There is nothing listed here. If I have completed something, I'm going to see a grade in these various items. Now these are my two total columns. I don't need to worry about those, but my readiness assessment, my getting to know Blackboard quiz, my pre-unit knowledge, you can see that there are various things here. Even if it doesn't have a set number of points possible, those items will need to have then a little check mark next to them. There should be something in the grade item for everything here. If there is a dash anywhere along here, that means I have not completed the item. So it's very, very important. You will be getting emails periodically uh, talking about your progress, but anytime you can just check in my grades. If you see a dash, that means that is something that has not been completed. So it's very important to go back and make sure that you have all of those things done. And if you have any questions throughout, just give me a holler. It's what we're here for. Thanks, everybody, and good luck.